Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, playing some more Super Mario Odyssey while permanently crouching. Uh, last time we got all the hint art from down there on the dark side. This time we're going to be going to one of the capless sub-areas on the dark side, all three of which are very, very hard. Uh, you may notice I have some fewer coins than I did in the previous video. That's because I tried to do this a bit off camera. By which I mean I did I tried to do it on camera, but I got weird frame drops from my capture card, so I ended up deleting that. Uh, we're gonna do it. We I didn't actually manage to do it, so that's okay. Uh, I seem to have fixed the frame drop issue, so we should be all right now. Uh, anyway, uh, we're gonna be going to the one just here behind the Odyssey. Uh, if you just drop down here, you can see there's a sub area. There we go, and we gotta head in without Cappy, which is why it's so hard. Uh, you may remember this from the Wooded Kingdom. Uh, basically, you have to get the keys over there to get one of the moons, and to get the other one, you have to lead a bonsai bill from over there back to over here, because there's some blocks you can break. Uh, the reason it's so hard is we don't have Cappy. Therefore, we can't capture any of these bullet bills or the bonsai bills. So the only way to get a bonsai bill over here is to go over there, lure one towards us, and then jump on these little blocks you can see underneath the main path. Uh, we have to, that's the only way to get back and bring the bonsai bill with us. Uh, it's really hard. So we're gonna try to do it. Uh, hopefully with more, suc more success than when I was trying before in the video I got, I got rid of because it sucked. Uh, so the first part's not too tricky. Uh, you just basically do that. And then the first moon is available. Uh, to get it, you have to actually make your way back, of course, because of the way the keys work. Oh my god. There's a good chance we're going to run out of coins in these three rooms, because they're all very, very hard. And you're going to die a lot. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, basically you want to drop down onto that lower ledge once you have the key. Using long jumps like this is pretty much the easiest way to get through there. Uh, I thought to do a triple jump in the normal run, but we can't do that because we don't have Cappy to cancel out our rolling or anything, so... We just have to come down here, line up the camera, and start long jumping. <sighs> because we can't stop rolling after a long jump, we're gonna roll off these blocks, which means the timing is a lot tighter than it would be if we were normally running along those blocks. Uh, which is what happens if you, you know, let go of Crouch after you've done each long jump. Which is much easier. Uh, but, because we don't have that at our disposal, we're gonna have to be really precise with our long jump timing. In order to make our way across. Uh, so yeah, the first part, you can see it's not tricky. The first part is pretty easy. And this second part, however. Yeah, uh, if the bullet hits you, it will blow up the ground that you're standing on. Uh, so you have to be careful about that. Um... Health otherwise doesn't matter too much. Um, you might get hit by a bullet or two, but you know, it's not its not a problem. The real problem is falling into the fog and dying. Uh, and yeah, even the first part is tricky with our restrictions. Uh, I usually do use some triple jumps to get through here normally, but we can't do that. I mean, we could do a triple jump, but it's, it's much easier just to do what we just did. A uh, triple jump we can pull off by doing a backflip followed by a ground pound to cancel into regular jump mode. Oops. <sighs> but yeah, you can see what I'm trying to do. It's just, it's very difficult to execute. Uh, and yes, the other two capless areas have very similar issues with the fact that you can't use Cappy to help you platform. And that's why they're capless sub-areas, obviously, because the whole point is you get the increased challenge by doing the regular area, but without Cappy. Also, yeah, you can you can bonk on those boxes if you jump too early, so don't jump too early, uh, my, is my advice. Uh, I am planning to do one video for each of these sub-areas, because I'm expecting them all to take quite a long time, because they're very hard. Um, We go get the key, so that part's easy. Then all you gotta do is just roll down here. Uh, it's okay if you bonk there, so it's not a problem. Uh, but getting the camera lined up again to go back is hard. Uh, in a normal playthrough, I would actually activate snapshot mode in order to turn the camera. But the problem with snapshot mode in this run is that 
it constantly tilts like this because we have to hold ZR, which makes it a bit trickier to actually use it to realign the camera. Uh, we can give it a try. Uh, I, might, I might give it a try when we get down there. Uh, in a normal run, like, I normally have my camera settings set to the default sensitivity. I did turn it up partway through this run because it seemed necessary. Um, so it might not be necessary to actually use a snapshot mode to do the same thing because uh, my camera controls are just much faster than they otherwise would be. Ah. <sighs> so yeah, you can you can get the idea of this. It's theoretically possible because the correct way to do this is essentially what we're doing. Uh, you're allowed to uncrouch normally, but like using long jumps to get across all of those blocks is the intended way of doing it. So the fact that we ca can only basically long jump is sort of helpful. So it shouldn't be entirely it should be entirely possible to get both of these moves. Just you know hard. Ah, that was way better. <laughs> oh my gosh. It wasn't perfect, but it was way better. Oh my goodness. Uh, we could actually just go back along the top here to get the first moon, but I think it just makes more sense to just do them both at once. Since you have to go where the key, to where the key is anyway to get the second moon, you may as well just grab the key while you're there and do the first moon at the same time. Okay, so that's the first moon unlocked, and we're in a decent position. We'll just hop down here. Waddle, 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 waddle. Ah! Ah, oh, damn. The jumps were fine. I just I rolled off the second block there before I before I got the next jump in. Uh, because you're rolling, you are, you are on those blocks for much less time than you otherwise would be, because normally you would just be running at normal speed. And rolling is faster than that. Or at least can be faster than that. And I believe as you land, you gain speed from the long jump. Uh, a long jump does set your speed, like so it will actually slow you down when you do the jump if you're already rolling at a faster speed. Uh, but... But yeah, once you've landed on the block, you accelerate again from the rolling, I think. And so it's faster than it otherwise would be. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, there's a reason I'm doing one video just for this one room, because it is hard. Uh, the other two, which we'll be seeing probably in the next two videos, are also hard. Uh, I'm not too worried about one of them, but the other one is gonna be a nightmare in this, this run because it's all about speed. And as you may know, we're not good at that, doing precise platforming fast. Um, we can do pretty much all the platforming we want if we have plenty of time to move around and line ourselves up, but if we're trying to go for speed, uh, for example with the sinking island thing way back in Bub Lane, uh, we can't really manage that. Uh, because waddling is so slow, and you have to be lined up to do the right kind of jump, and etc, etc. Lots of reasons that it doesn't work. Ah! Oh, I thought that was it. Oh my god. So you get the idea, it's just very, very, very precise timing to get across those gaps fast enough. Really, really hard. Thankfully the first part is reasonably easy, so you can get to the tricky part without doing too much nonsense to begin with. Uh, yeah, I didn't line up the camera well enough, so I couldn't tell where the edge was. You need know, the camera to be a bit above you, but not too high, because the higher platforms will get in the way, if you're not careful, basically. Mario, get up here. Here I'm just pressing B for the long jumps and steering a little bit. I'm not tapping Y or shaking or anything to accelerate. Uh, let me just steer off the edge here. 
use a little bit of a slide. Oh, no, that was terrible. I wasn't nearly close enough. So, yeah, um... The moon is, you can see there's those blocks there. You have to get the bullet plants I built all the way there. So all you really have to do is jump across all these blocks to make your way to this platform down there. It is low enough that the bullets will just, the, the bonsai bill will just hit what you want it to and not accidentally destroy, you know, you or hit you in the way, uh, so long as you make it across all of the blocks before it hits you. Uh, it's hard, it's doable. Ah. Uh, I am absolutely sure this can be done, which means I have to try to do it, which means it's going to be really hard. Yeah, it's been over 11 minutes, and we still haven't actually managed to get this done. Uh, I'm expecting it, expecting it to take probably like a full half hour video, because this is hard. Possibly longer, who knows. Remember, I had already put a few attempts in on the previous one with all the frame drops that I ended up deleting. Uh, so, oh my god. <laughs> Rolled off too soon. Oh. <sighs> It's interesting that in areas like this, the coin counter doubles as a bit of a death count since you lose 10 coins per life and there's nothing in here that gives you coins. Uh, it's a little odd that the game doesn't have like an overall death counter like the Celeste does, for example. Feels like it would have fit, but I don't know. I guess they decided not to. Maybe they thought having a moon for, like, dying a bunch of times would be strange and just decided not to put it in with the other do-stuff counters. Ah, oh, yeah, that wasn't good. The angle was bad there. Uh, you can see the coin count is, like, smaller in this kingdom because there's no regional coins. Like, that makes sense, but I find it kind of strange because normally it's exactly 10 moons wide. Uh, but in kingdoms that don't have regional coins, it's much smaller and I'm not sure how many moons wide it is. Yes! Oh my gosh, I did it! I did it! Oh my gosh. Okay, so yeah, the bullet hits there, we can get the moon. We can get the moon. Get the, get the moon. <laughs> -da 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 -da. Yeah! Breakdown Road Final Challenge. Uh, don't roll off the edge there, that would be really horrible. Uh, I mean, I already got the harder of the two moons, so getting the key would not be too much of a hassle, but still. Uh, then the other moon is around here. Ba -da 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 -da. Yeah! <sighs> and... Yeah, those are the next two moons, as you can see. Three and four, Breakdown Road Hurry and Breakdown Road Final Challenge. I'm gonna cash these in, and we're gonna call that a video. It's only about 15 minutes, but I think these three rooms deserve their own videos, just for the sheer overall difficulty compared to most of the game. Uh, so I'm gonna just head over here, throw Cappy, cash in those two moons. Whew. Oh my gosh, that was really hard. <laughs> okay, so in the next next time we're going to be going to one of the other uh, capless sub areas. Uh, one of them is sort of combat focused, and one is platforming focused. So the combat one I think will be a little easier uh, of the two. So we might do that next. Uh, I'll have a look and see which one that is, so that I can remember where I'm looking. Ha <laughs> ha!
Just checking in my checking my infos here. Because, uh, you know, I want to try to do these in order. So whatever five and six are is what I probably want to do next. But I forget what they are. So, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Uh, but anyway, that's um, that's Breakdown Road, which is one of the most difficult areas in the game, and I just pulled it off while permanently crouching. I feel pretty awesome. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that sure happened. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, tune in next time for one of the other two Hatless Roads of Terror. Um, Uh, the next one is... Oh, Invisible Road. Okay. Okay, so we'll be doing that one next. That is that is the combat-related one, and I think it's probably going to be easier than the other one. So we're going to be doing it first. Uh, and, well, look forward to that, because it's coming up. And thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed.